In the reading room of an RAF hospital, convalescent airmen are putting in a bit of time reading thrillers while temporarily off the active list. In the gymnasium, some of the boys with undercarriage trouble are loosening up stiff landing gear. Only the best is good enough for the best airmen in the world. A workout with a football in the gym brings new life into muscles stiffened by inaction in a hospital bed. It's all part of the surgical skill to get them into good trim again. Those whose wounds are fully healed take advantage of a fall of snow to put in a bit of ground strafing. Others, still in bandages, come out to watch the fun as the poor little nurses come under fire. Wow, you want to fight, eh? It's a grand pick-me-up snowballing. But there's another snow fight going on at an aerodrome where planes of a squadron, a gift from the people of Burma, are being refuelled and armed in readiness for another spot of bother. They've only just landed, but their pilots come a-running as Jerry is reported in the neighbourhood. On go the shoots as these aces of the Burma squadron prepare to go to work. They're big figure men, these. There's Blatchford, a DFC, Stanford Tuck with three decorations, and Flying Officer Martin, each with a record bag and ever ready for more. A flying trio which spells trouble for the Bosch with a capital T. Taxiing downwind across the chrome, the three modern musketeers jockey into position, and then opening up their throttles, skim across the snow-covered ground and into the air, with 3,000 horsepower engines driving them like rockets at their targets. The fight is on! 